Hello, I am Mal and welcome to Stellaris. Now, if you want information and you happen to miss episode zero, yes, there is an episode zero. I'm going to put a link, oh, right about here for you on the screen. You can click that if you want to hear about the campaign settings and all about the custom races, because most of the empires featured in this Let's Play are actually from community members submitting their ideas, which is just awesome. So if you want the details on that, you can click right here to go to uh, episode zero. If you're on a mobile device and that's not going to work for you, there'll be a link below the video in the description that will also take you to that, or of course, it'll be in the playlist. Whew. Okay, we got all that out. Now, time for us to start taking over the, the galaxy as the Melrochian Order. Our giant cockroach friend here. <laughs> let's go. All right, so the game is paused. Let's do the basics. Let's see. Let's go ahead and set our research. What did we get here? Physics lab, toughness, solar panel. Okay, I guess we'll go for physics lab. Colony ship, naval capacity, orbital, hydroponic farms. Well, we're obviously going to go for colony ship. Engineering, defense platform, missiles, thrusters. Mm. Let's get thrusters first. Okay, so our research is set. Let's see, we've got a construction ship, we've got a science ship. Let's get our science ship doing sciencey stuff, shall we? Potentially habitable world, desert, desert and tundra. Okay, let's go survey that and then this. And I talked about this in episode zero. We are using hyperdrive tech only for all empires. So these lanes right here, these space lanes or hyper lanes are the only way we're going to be able to travel. Yeah, so there's not going to be, uh, you know, anyone just sort of jumping straight into where our worlds are. And we'll be able to create, I think, some really cool strategic choke points. Like, let's let's take an example. We can assume that there's probably an empire over here, right? They can't jump straight in because they've got to follow the hyperspace lanes. So even if this system say right here or right here, if we discover that it's not that great of a system, like there's not even good planets or anything to colonize, I might have to spend the influence to create an outpost to take the system just so I can militarize it. That was the whole concept behind this Let's Play. It was just kind of change it up a little bit from my first series where I used wormhole tech. I, th I think it'll be fun. OK, now let's see. We obviously have no contacts. Take a look here. We have a planetary governor. I'm just making sure we got everything set before I unpause. Ship designer, right. Let's go ahead and get rid of this design. And we'll make a new one, Corvette. We'll go with an interceptor core. And we'll just put three nuclear missiles on there. And some reactors. Yep. And this will be... Vet one. If you guys think of any like cool bug related names, like I was, I, I looked, but I couldn't find like roaches don't really have a societal order that I could see. But you know, if, if these were, if we were ant people, then I would be like worker and something else and I'd name them like that. But yeah, cooler ideas for design names for the ships. Let me know. Right now, that's going to be Vet one. All right, let's go to our main world here and take a look. 16 pop, right? Okay, edicts. Arms race, infrastructure projects, land of opportunity, re-education campaign. Yeah, none of this is very helpful for us right now. What about... Um, what if we set a policy... We could do society research gain. It's probably not a bad idea to do this out of the gate. Take society research for the plus 30% until we get colony ships, and then we can get rid of it if we want to. I don't really like spending influence, especially now as expensive as it is, but... Let's do that. We'll, we'll activate that for now. And is there anything we can upgrade? Oh, we can actually... We actually have the tech to clear, huh? Okay, good. All right, well, clear that. Can't afford to clear that. All right, let's unpause.
No upgrade available. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, there is. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. I deleted the other plan, so it shouldn't have a conflict. I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, what do we got going on under here? How's this survey going? Find us some stuff. Interesting in 1.2, uh, which is... Or 1.21, excuse me, which is the version we're playing on now. And for point of reference, this is being recorded uh, third week of July of 2016. Uh, that, uh, you know, let's go ahead and speed things up. The... There's a lot of fundamental changes to the early game. Um, probably the the biggest is that there's influence costs right out of the gate related to just colonizing another system, and your borders are open by default, so changes things quite a bit. Have enough money to clear another tile? Man. I'm so used to play <laughs> I'm so used to playing with like an empire that's got thousands of energy a turn and thousands of minerals. This is interesting being back at the start again. It's fun though. It's fun though. It means that it's actually important when things happen. Like this! Discovery of alien life. We're not alone out there. Is that right? Okay. Hmm. Planetary animal, huh? Finding sparks some introductory debate. Is that proof that Malrocha are Anomaly lords of all creation? Uh, 30% failure rate on that, huh? Yeah, no, just leave it be for now. Once we level up, we can go back after that. What do we got here? Alien Vessels, Unidentified Empire. Oh, right here, huh? Well, let's go take a look then. No reason not to, right? How's our tech coming along? Now let's go ahead and go up to the fastest speed, because why not? Situation updated. Okay. System survey complete. See, that's gonna take society re Well, let's do it anyway. Need to learn their language or what have you. We'll just hang out right here. Okay, gained a level, and is resilient, nice. Oh, okay, hold on, no, no, it looks like they're gonna attack, let's try to leave. <laughs> let's go, let's leave. No reason for us to... No reason for us to lose. Oh, no, 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 no. 18 days until emergency FTL is ready, alright. Retreat, retreat, retreat. All right, go back home. <laughs> we got no business. We clearly have no business being out there. Ancient mining drones. Interesting. Uh, establish a listening post. Let's see what they're made of. Take them apart. Uh, let's establish a listening post. Updated. So the deal there is, let me explain that to you, um, occasionally when you have these these special events come up, it'll sort of pause what you're working on, like as an example, we've got this mining drone observation, so it pauses the ion thruster stuff, but it's weird because you, you still get a credit towards your research, so it's like as soon as that's done, then you get a bonus to what you were researching, so it kind of balances out, if that makes any sense at all. Mineral riches, okay. Using techniques derived from the ancient mining drones assessment uh, 
assessment systems, we have pinpointed a handful of star systems that are likely to have particularly rich mineral bodies. Oh, okay. Oh, one down here is potentially really good. Okay. Well, good. Good info. And how far are we away from... Oh, colony ships. It's a ways. That's a ways. Habitable worlds. No doubt, living biosphere is not something unique. Plenty of immunity efforts. Yes, yes, okay. Habitable world survey event. If more important matters to focus on, I could get plus 20 influence. Uh No, let's Situation log updated. Let's let's do it. Habitable world survey. Okay, so we'll get something after we've surveyed eight habitable worlds. All right. Usually doing those sort of like events or storylines are worth it in the long term. I might have been better off taking 20 flat influence though, who knows. You still scanning stuff? What are you doing? Oh, you're done. Okay, hold on then. Let's go check out this one then. Go ahead and clear that. Yeah, we'll just clear all these. These, these are called tile blockers. As you can see, they've got the little hazard thing around them, essentially saying you can't use them. So you have to have the tech um, to clear that particular tile, and then you have to pay what it lists to then do it, plus the time. And we can build something here. It's got a one energy credit on it by default. You can see these little numbers here. That's food. That's energy credit. That's society research. So on and so forth. Uh, we'll go ahead and build... How's our money situation? Build a power plant here. Yeah, we'll build one there as well. We can go with mining network here. Go ahead and grab. Do we have hydroponics? Yeah, we have hydroponic one. Okay, so we'll get some food. Looks good for now. Anomaly found. 30% failure chance. Yeah, leave it be for now. We'll come back. Now, the risk here is that, since you essentially have open borders by default, really, and the fact that this isn't our system, so we can't secure it anyway, if someone wants to come in and investigate that anomaly, they'll be able to. So, something to keep in mind. Oh, hey, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's zoom out. We haven't checked that out yet. So this is, again, a two-spiral arm galaxy. Different than our first, uh, our first Let's Play, where I did a, a elliptical. So this is this is actually really cool. I like this. I can already see where there's going to be some interesting places. Like for instance, if you take that right there and hold it, and you've secured this entire arm over here. So if you take say that choke point, and where's another good choke point? Here. We go here, here, and here. You held those three systems, you'd have this entire galactic arm cut off. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that long term, how that's going to play out. That'll, that'll be neat. What are we doing on... Let's grab... Um, why is it saying that there's that available for build? I'm not sure. I, I deleted the other plan, so... That is strange. Research complete. Okay, physics lab is undone. Good. 
Um, assist research. Yeah, let's grab that, because when we're done surveying most of the nearby worlds, we can then assign our science ship to help with research. Research complete. Okay, thruster tech is done. Mining network too. Or improved spaceport. Uh... Let's go with improved spaceport actually, because we have no idea if we're gonna have early aggression or not. We we may, so probably best to do that. Okay, leveled up, good. Research complete. All right, nice. Colony ship unlocked. Symbol of unity? What is this? I've never seen this before. Which is great. I'm glad that... Okay, so the way this works is you've got different levels of tech. This, because it's got a purple uh, bar on it, means it's a rare tech. And you know, sometimes this stuff will just pop up. Minus 10 ethics divergence is really good. So as your colonies spread out and you get further away from your home world... Their, their ethics, what they believe versus what you believe back on the homeworld, they start to change, and it can be problematic. Factions can rise up and create all kinds of havoc, so... That's really cool. I don't need it right now, but... That's pretty cool. I think I'll grab Biolab. This should stay on our research list. Yeah, it'll stay there. But we'll just grab Biolab first. All right, and let's get to making a... We need a colony ship. Oh, we need some more resources. Okay, we'll have them here shortly. Go survey that. Go survey that. That should keep you busy. Come to me, minerals. Come to me. <laughs> Come on. I need to build a colony ship. Yeah, we'll assign that, whatever that is, in a second. There we go. Colony ship. All right, now, what are you complaining about? Oh, that has no one on it? Okay, well, here. Now it does. Oh, so let me, let me take a moment to explain this while we're waiting for our colony ship to build. So you have this little bar here System which indicates complete. your happiness level. If you click on a tile, you can get more details. So right now we have 69% happiness on this particular pop with a minus 27.6% ethics diversion. And it is in green because negative is good in this case. Is that colony ship done? Is that what you were telling me? No, almost. This little green bar here Oh, excuse me, this bar right here with the little guy with the flag on it is indicating that it's been, been constructed 36% done. Okay, so back to the colony here. This right here, where they're sort of faded out, means that you have um, a pop that's growing there, but it's obviously not there yet. So in this case, 3 of 48, it's got a long way to go. Do we have any growth... No, we don't. We don't have any growth edicts. Or I would activate one on the planet. I don't care about armies right now. Okay, what's our food at? Plus one.
This is queued. We really need this done. We need the food. All right, here, you there. Go hang out on that. Well, at least our money, our income is good right now. As it should be, we don't have a lot of maintenance or anything. All right, let's pause it for just a second. Let's figure out which planet we want. Eighty percent habitability, fourteen pop size. Uh, something else that I'll mention is that until you actually have the tech to colonize certain worlds, you won't be able to. Let's see, how good are you? Well, you're not bad. How about up here? Are you any better? Oh, I think we have a winner with 15. Now, the tiles are also a question, too, is that if you don't have the the tile blocker tech for a world, that can also sway why you would or wouldn't um, colonize a place. So you want to look at the total population size, the habitability, and then sometimes there'll be some specials up here, like meteor strike or a certain type of atmosphere. There's all kinds of like little different bonuses, pluses or minuses that you can get on a colony. So those all affect your decision. But this looks pretty good. This looks even better. Whoa, 22. Really? Okay. Well, that's very encouraging. Let's unpause. We do have enough influence on hand. It does cost you influence now to colonize. Construction complete. There we go. Spaceport construction complete. So we'll grab our colony ship. And are you the one with 22? You are. Okay, so colony ship. And it's going to cost us 41. Oh, so... Okay, so there's a base of 30 plus the distance. Interesting. Well, we're taking that. And we're going to plot down. Now, where you select to land your colony base is actually important. Uh, hmm. This is probably the best long-term one, even though these are tile-blocked. Because the four tiles adjacent, you get bonuses to. Hmm. This looks, this is pretty good too. That would be a food, two food. Hmm. I think I'll take this spot. Yep. Now, while that's happening, um, your expenses are going to go up while you're uh, colonizing. So that's something you got to be careful about. Make sure that you have enough extra money or at least stored up money. Okay, let's see. Okay, you there. Go up there. System survey complete. Anomaly found. 2% failure risk? Um, okay, hold on. First colony. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and research that. 2% failure is not, not much. And you can see here we're colonizing the planet. It costs us 8 energy credits per month until it's done. It takes 10 months. Abandoned amusement park. Okay. We've made our first small steps into our future. <laughs> My guess is we're going to end up with some conflict over here very quickly. Yeah, that's my guess anyway. Survey that. Survey that. How's our research going? Oh, good. We almost got biolabs done. 
we need to put these down quick because these give you um, society research, which is what we need. Society at the beginning is probably the most important tech to go after because it's all about the expansion tech, which worlds you can colonize and all that research kind of stuff. Complete. All right. Border range? Yes, please. Colony is Mission almost established. Okay, we have an encounter. Encountered some form of alien vessels. Flagged beta. Okay, let's go... See if we can figure colony out their language. Alright, colony established. Let's slow this down then. We'll go ahead and enact infrastructure, and I don't really want to spend the money for migration. Infrastructure should be good enough. As a matter of fact, I probably should have waited on that till we had more population to take advantage of it. A little overzealous there. Yeah, we don't have that tech. We don't have any of these tile blocker techs. But that's okay. Basic hydroponics, and you can hang out right there. How much is a spaceport? 324. Okay. Alright, folks. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this first one here. I hope that you've enjoyed it and you continue to uh, join me for uh, ongoing episodes of the Malrochian Order. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later. System survey complete.